Ye has officially sent major show curves in the industry again after hints emerged that show that he may be making another move regarding his latest business venture, Yeezy P. The rapper is no stranger to controversy and making daring moves, whether in his music or other businesses, and this latest move of his regarding his Yeezy adult films company presents a shift in the image that people initially knew him in. So today, we are going to see what move Ye has recently done regarding his latest controversial business venture, why he did what he did, what this move will mean and its impact on his other businesses and on his personal brand as a father and a husband. So if you did not know what's the latest in Ye's business ventures world, the rapper made headlines weeks back when he infamously announced that he will be launching Yeezy P in a six seconds video. He posted on his social media platforms including Instagram, Twitter and YouTube, where the video directed the viewers to go to Yeezy.com with an announcement that Yeezy P is coming. This new venture would be part of the adult entertainment division at parent company Yeezy, according to sources, who also said the Vultures rapper was already in talks with several adult film stars, including Stormy Daniels' ex-husband, Mike Moores, to help him kickstart his business. Now, when he announced this and showed how serious he was and determined to make it happen, it pissed a lot of people, including his fans, who were mad at how unthoughtful and reckless this was of him to be considering to do an adult's film business, considering that he is a father who is raising not one but two daughters and two young boys. That's not all, as he was also attacked by Christians because he had a full-blown Christian era in 2019, releasing spiritual-driven albums like Jesus is King and Sunday Services, even saying that he would never release secular music again. So they blasted him for having done all that and now, considering doing that kind of business and bringing back his old tweets where he was against P Films saying that, The use of P destroyed my family, but Jesus will heal everything. Remove any and all forms of those films from Twitter and every platform. These films are the product of the P word. When grown men look at them, they are watching someone's daughter relieve trauma for money. So people brought all that back. And for the ones who couldn't simply digest what he had done, came up with the theory of Ye being a clone because they felt like the old Ye could never do this. Anyways, so Ye has shocked the industry again this time with hints of better and relieving news regarding this controversial venture. Because according to what has happened, it looks like Ye has decided that he is better off without launching an adult film company. This assumption of Ye aborting his plans was fueled by the fact that the rapper has deleted all the posts regarding Yeezy P from his Twitter account and his YouTube channel. Needless to say, this obviously shows that Ye also thought that it wasn't a good idea after all. And he was right to think so because even his biggest fans and some of his staff had vowed to never get engaged in the making or promotion of the controversial business. His famous fan page Ye Fanatics, after he had announced the news, they instantly said that if Ye decides to go forward with that business, they would never promote it. While Milo Yiannopoulos, his chief of staff, said that he would never get involved in the making of the videos as a recovering addict. He wrote in an official statement that I cannot be complicit in the production or dissemination of P films and literature for moral and religious reasons but also because such material and the kind of people invariably involved in its production represent an imminent danger to my life as a recovering addict and an unacceptable risk to my spiritual and physical health as a former homosexual. On one side, I'm glad that Ye had what his fans and staff had to say and decided not to go ahead with something he clearly knew is pissing them off. Because as a celebrity and a public figure, it is great when he keeps his relationship with his fans healthy and spotless. 
Because at the end of the day, they met him and he knows that a simple wrong move can shift their loyalty and attention to his rivals and leave him bare. Plus, his fans are his primary fans and consumers anyway. So he realized that since they weren't up to it, he wouldn't get anything off of it after all. There is also a possibility that he must have realized that this business would actually totally ruin his other businesses. Say, like his Donder Academy, if at all he decides to run it again, I am sure that no parent would like to bring their child to a guy who sells adult films. And even other than that, if people did not support this side of business, it would be hard for him to get the same people to keep listening and buying his music or keep buying his clothes because he realized that his fans would seriously cancel his other businesses for it. However, something kind of tells me that this old Yeezy P thing was actually not real, but a big PR plan meant to get some clout for his upcoming projects and that he's also deleting it because he knows that it will make news. And I have a feeling that this could be a tactic method to smooth the way for his bigger upcoming projects, maybe like his Voltage too. But one can't say for sure because with Ye, you never know, right? So with that, inside sources have come out to say that Ye putting a stop on his Yeezy adult films is a way for him to put his full focus on his other projects that people actually care about, like his Vultures 2 album, his mobile app, his Yeezy clothing line, among others. Different sources have come to say that Ye is actually working on his all-in-one mobile application, which would be where he releases his Vultures 2, and that the process is nearing its end. About his Yeezy clothing and sneaker brand, he has thousands and thousands of orders which haven't been worked on and his fans are on his neck to deliver their products. So all that proves that he is a very busy man right now and has no time for more businesses, especially the ones that could land him in trouble. Fans however are so happy about this move because they feel hard and the sense that their opinions matter to Ye, where one person said, I am glad he listens to his fans. Another one said, man, it's a W that Yeezy P is not happening anymore. The last one said, congratulations on making a holy correction. Now, where the F is my march? So clearly, Ye has a lot better things to do with his time and investment. And I want you to let me know how you feel about his decision to abort his adult films plans and if you think he was wise or not. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe for more entertainment news and updates.